Hi, I'm Norha Geg from Biometrics TV, and on this episode, we will be discussing post-traumatic stress disorder, also known as PTSD. Yeah, how's it going? My name's uh, John Ayala. I'm a U.S. Army combat veteran. Uh, I served in OIF, OEF, back in 2006 to 2008. Uh, I did a 15 month deployment to Iraq and I did a 10 month deployment to Afghanistan. Now I suffer from PTSD and TBI. Uh, the traumas that I've been through are traumas of, you know, uh, IEDs, explosions, you know, uh, roadside bombs. I've been under fire by mortars been shot at, I've been shot, I've been hit by IEDs, I've been hit by explosives. Um, now, how has this affected me? It's affected me, it's affected me greatly. Uh, for one, how it's affected me is just, right now, do I feel I'm very anxious, I'm always, always high strong. I feel my drones easily spiked. I go from zero to 100 in just a matter of a second, you know, um, and a lot of it just, uh, before I came back, I had emotional numbness. Uh, I call them tidal waves. The tidal waves are what I call is because uh, before I went to the Army, I, I, I was this charismatic guy. I was in high school, I was a 3.5 GPA athlete, and I had goals to play college football. And instead, I joined I joined military to serve our country. Now, joining at 17, going to 18, uh, I was forced to grow quick. And in doing so, I man, my life changed. Completely, the waves change. It's uh, you know, it hardened me. I I I felt like I had no emotion in anything. Uh, I just didn't care anymore when I came back. You know, after seeing so many of my friends get killed, you had to add to well, it wasn't me. You know, kind of had that attitude, and just kind of like you, you, we didn't have time to mourn, so we buried everything deep, and everything that has ever happened just buried it deep. You know, and I was when I came back from the first deployment, my second deployment, actually, I was very when I came finally got out of the military, I was very. Very reserved. I didn't talk to anyone. I locked myself. I, I didn't want to leave the room. I was in my room all day, every day. Didn't want to go outside. It, it was just, um, it was just very, it was a hard part of my life because uh, I had night terrors and everything just, it was, I call them scenario dreams too because night terrors were like every night I had a dream about what happened in my deployment because the fact that like I'm not, when you're in combat, you're constantly, you're constantly uh, full adrenaline. You're constantly like you're you're always on the go. You don't have time to slow down. Every day you're getting shot at. There's getting blown. So you're constant high alert. You're always on a ready. You're always on a go. And now when you're home, there's no there's no there's no uh, there's no danger. So there's no danger here. And because there's no danger, you, it gives you time to relax and think about everything. When you're I always had to keep myself busy. But before I. Even kept myself. Now that I was home, I had nothing to do. I was out in the military. I'm like, what I do? So I had all this time, and time killed me. Time to think. Sitting there, thinking about everything that happened I, vividly. I would dream about it, and I'd wake up, and I was losing my hair. I was waking up in just puddles of sweat, and every time my dream was just a scenario dream. I thought it just when I had a dream, it, every day was a different dream. But the same same course would happen. Uh, this this right here brought a lot of anger, a lot of frustration. I started drinking, um, just to suppress it. But you know, it does it for a little bit, but then it comes back. And then, so when I got into college, I got busy. I, I joined, I played football, I joined a fraternity. My mind got, I got busy again. Get my mind occupied. I didn't think about it. Every time, I just kept repressing everything. I was doing fine. And I was doing well. And the only time I ever came out and got really bad was when I drank. When I would go drinking. Everything came out, and it's because you know you you lose that part of your consciousness where you hold everything down, and it's just kind of free mode, and it, it always came out in the worst way possible. I hurt a lot of people in the past. I said a lot of mean things and things I regret. Um, so after college, when uh, I graduated, then I had downtime again. When that downtime came, it just happened again. So I've been going to therapy, and I talk, I have a therapist I go to. 
And I've tried different things for a while. I went to group therapy, didn't help because, you know, just everyone's talking about their emotions and I just wasn't about that. But when I actually went to a therapist, I, I felt better. Uh, but it was a temporary fix. What happened was uh, you go to therapy, you, you learn how you talk about it over and over. So it's, it becomes repetitive and you learn to cope with it. But every time I went, the entire day or week, I feel on high, strong, anxious because it's like I opened up Pandora's box. Pandora's box of emotions just came out and just flooded my whole body. And when that happens, I, I'm i just anxious. I, I, I explode really quick and I just I sometimes don't even think straight. And you're just always thinking you're in danger. And, and But some, I was feeling better because I was doing more and more therapy. I was getting it off my chest. I felt lighter. I felt like a whole load lighter. I'm hoping with this new therapy that I'm doing here, I'm, I've heard a lot of great things about it. It goes to deeper than the root, which you want. This is kind of like going therapy just gets a top layer and when I need something to go to base. So I'm hoping this therapy works. I mean, we'll see how I feel right now. Like I said, I feel pretty anxious. You know, my adrenaline's a little spiked up because I'm a little nervous, but you know, like anytime I get nervous, I spike up and we'll see. Um, we'll see how these, these sessions go. And uh, again, you know, I, I didn't want to go into too much detail, but like you kind of got the baseline. Like it's just, uh, that's just like kind of overall PTSD. It, it affects you daily in life. And another thing, what I, I said earlier, or what I, it, the crazy thing about it is, um, you you know that's not you, and that's you're, it's like you're battling like an evil twin inside you. You know, like you're, you're at someone something's in there has always wanted to express itself in a different way, and you're just kind of holding. You're like that's not that's how me. You're like when you explode, you it's like why well, you just take a deep breath. You you, you know you gotta calm down, but. uh it takes the best of you. So uh, hoping this treatment works. We'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, I'll let you know. Uh, wish me luck. Thanks. Hey, how's it going? I just got done my first treatment. I did the alpha relaxer. Um, you know what? I feel pretty great. It was uh, when I first got in it, it uh, you know, put the whole goggles on. You know, my uh, the first few minutes of my breathing, I felt like it slowed it down a lot. You know, I was kind of like, didn't know what to expect, slow down my breathing. And then after that, like I was kind of, you know, just zoning out. I was kind of feeling like my eyes hurt or I'm tripping out, but it's because of all the random lights and the designs I was kind of seeing on there. Um, and just going through it, I, I felt just, I felt relaxed. My whole body was just kind of calming down. Um, I, um, when I was looking at it, I was looking at designs. I mean, it, it, now that I'm off of it, I feel like I slept really good. I felt relaxed. Um, all week I've been having like a burning sensation in my chest and it's just from anxiety, from, you know, just everything I was just carrying in. Like I feel relaxed, like through my cranial uh, stem down here to my neck, my shoulders, I feel very relaxed. I feel like so much was lifted off my shoulders. And I feel pretty good. I feel, uh, yeah, very, I feel very calm. I feel like at peace. And uh, this has only been one session, so I'm excited to see how the next few are going to happen, uh, next several, and this has been great. I'll keep you all updated, and it's been great. Uh, huge difference. Uh, thank you. How's it going? It's John Ayala. Uh, just got done my uh, session from yesterday and went through another one today. Uh, I slept pretty well. Last night, I actually went to deep, heavy sleep. I actually got like a really good rest. Um, didn't have any uh, any thoughts about anything. I kind of felt like a, kind of like a blankness, emptiness, which is like kind of I felt at peace. Uh, it was really good. Got the best sleep in, uh, in a long time. And right now I feel really relaxed. Went through another treatment, and my whole body just feels kind of like at ease. And it's been great. So these treatments for me have been doing pretty well. Been getting more restful sleep. Uh, just less tension throughout the day, no anxiety, um, worry-free really, and it's kind of easy going. So we'll see how the rest of the treatments keep going. But so far, everything's been really great. Hey, how's it going? Uh, so John and Yala, uh, just got down with another session here today. Uh, did a little alpha relaxer and then just went and focused on getting, you know, my alpha and thetas um, nice and relaxed and trying to get that trained. 
Uh, the way I've been feeling, I've been feeling pretty well. Been actually getting better sleep over the weekend. Uh, I got really good sleep. You know, actually when I go to sleep, I, I don't tend to wake up at all anymore. In the middle of the night or a few hours, I used to have like I used to feel restless when I wake up to you as well. Uh, these sessions have been helping me out. Been feeling better every day. Um, and you know, my mood is a lot more stable, more more relaxed. My anxiety is not as high anymore. I, it's um, only certain triggers when I get from my PTSD it would trigger, but it's not as bad as it used to be. And I've been noticing the been noticing the changes, you know, calmness and uh, everything's been going great. So I'm gonna continue doing new sessions, and we'll see how everything goes from here on out. So other than that, I've been feeling pretty good, and um, I look forward to every other session I'm getting. All right, thank you. Hey, how's it going? It's uh, John Yala. I uh, just wanted to update you guys on my sessions. I've had about five or no six now. And one thing I've, I have noticed is my sleep pattern is a lot better. I actually fall asleep a lot faster and I stay asleep before with my anxiety and panic attack or just night terrors I'd, I'd get randomly or throughout the day. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. I'm up all night. I get insomnia. I get like three, four hours of sleep, if that, on and off. And now actually I'm sleeping like about six to eight hours straight. Um, I wake up more restful, more energetic, and I'm a little more, I'm actually a little more alert. Uh, I used to like dread waking up in the mornings. I was just tired all day, but now, uh, it's been going great. And I feel like it's been doing, for me, it's been doing wonders. It's been helping me with my PTSD for sure. Um, still working on it, but you know, everything's a work in progress. And, um, every step, every day I actually feel stronger. I feel better. And, um, you know, I actually look forward to these sessions, you know, because, uh, when I when I walk when I walk out, I feel I feel revived. I feel uh, pretty calm, and um, I don't, you know honestly, like I I'm able to think better. I'm able to think more with more clarity, and uh, the small things don't bother me anymore. And I have you know feel a little more patience with that. But you know we'll see. Uh, we'll continue this, and uh, I'm looking forward. Sessions are working really great so far. Thank you. I'm very happy that we were able to help Johnny with uh, the effects of post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD. I'm also a veteran and I've also had uh, my issues with PTSD before I discovered neural feedback and CES or cranial electrotherapy stimulation. These are the therapies that we offer here at the Biomed RX Health Center and the combination of CES and neural feedback is very effective in mitigating the effects of PTSD. PTSD is a situation that's common among people of all walks of life, not just combat veterans. So uh, don't suffer in silence and don't self-medicate if you can avoid it. Give us a call here at the Biometrics Health Center and we can help you out. Thank you.